What's going on guys, I'm back with another video. We've seen several major celebrities appearing in photo shoots, where they symbolically pledge allegiance to the occult elite. Far from being subtle, the symbols are clear, unmistakable, and repeated throughout mass media. In March 2021, Doha Cat was featured in a V Magazine photo shoot that's as off-putting as it is symbolic. First, Cat looks like some kind of plastic android, an apt way of representing the industry turning artists into mindless slaves. Second, a classic symbol representing the elite, is an octopus, with its tentacles in all spheres of society. Considering these facts, the pics of that shoot represent the complete control of Doha Cat by the elite. Every year, V Magazine releases its New Rulers issue, which features up-and-coming celebrities that are popular with young people. It is also a perfect excuse to initiate these celebrities to the elite sick agenda. In this picture, we see Noah Beck, a TikTok heartthrob, soccer player with millions of followers. They've put him in makeup and high heels, because that's what the agenda requires. Model Jordan Love is also a new ruler, a more appropriate term would be new pawn. He has to do the one-eye sign to indicate his submission to the elite. Rapper 24K Golden is also a new pawn. One-eye sign. Amir Crow is a TikTok star with millions of followers. Here, he wears makeup, lipstick, and Mickey Mouse ears, MK Ultra Disney programming. To complete this superb work of art, he's doing a one-eye sign. Justin Bieber recently released a new album, and everything about it, screams out, I'm an industry slave. The cover itself features him doing the one-eye sign with an expression that says, why do I have to do this crap again? To prove that there is nothing random about Bieber's pose, the alternate cover also features a one-eye sign. To promote his album, Bieber was featured in Billboard magazine. Guess what he was told to do? Yeah. Same thing but with another flower. Seriously, these people are creative geniuses to come up with this stuff. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Dash Gad likes to use social media to lecture people and push political agendas. His profile picture featuring a blatant one-eye sign, proves that he is a controlled pawn. Demi Lovato revealed her new album cover, and it's 100% about being under elite control. First, the title Dancing with the Devil is obvious. Yes, it can refer to her past hardships, but it can also mean her being controlled by the satanic elite. Second, the butterflies are a reference to monarch mind control. The multiple demis are a reference to dissociation multiple personas. In short, this cover is all about her being an MK slave of the industry. Tom Holland, mostly known for playing Spider-Man in several movies, makes a blatant one-eye sign in British GQ magazine. Daylo aka Why Is She Still Everywhere, does a big fat one-eye sign on the cover of Allure. The cover says, J Lo then, now, and forever, under the condition that you submit to the elite. 51-year-old Gwen Stefani is releasing new music, and she needs some of that sweet media attention. The one I sign is required. The career of French comedian, Gad Elmala, was almost destroyed after he was accused of plagiarizing jokes. However, by doing the one I sign, he's been given La Nouvelle Vie, or, a new life in showbusiness. Elise Steinfeld does the one-eye sign on the cover of Boston Common using a flower. That's so original and creative. Nobody ever thought of this. Ashley Usachiha is the twin sister of Marilyn Manson's wife. She launched a clothing line, and she models some of the clothes on the official website. This is her, hiding one eye using a flower. Pure creative genius. 
it's like, wow. This is the poster promoting Bling Empire, a Netflix's reality series about wealthy Asian socialites. That's because Netflix is all about the elite's agenda. Again, Netflix used to promote its agenda-friendly content. This is the image used to promote Night Stalker, a documentary about satanic pedophile serial killer Richard Ramirez. The marketing surrounding the video game Resident Evil Village is strongly focused on the one eye sign. This is another Resident Evil Village promo image, featuring one of the main characters, is Shu Marilyn Manson in drag. Big focus on the one eye sign. This is the new album cover of rapper Playboy Cardi. The minimalist design draws focus on two important elements, blood and an inverted cross. In short, he's yet another rapper who is defined by overt satanic symbolism. When I say defined, I am not kidding. Satanic symbolism is what defines him. This is the main promo pic of Playboy Cardi found across media. Literal devil horns. Along with his new album, Cardi released a line of merch. And it is all satanic stuff. The hoodie on the left depicts Jesus crucified on an inverted cross. The shirt on the right features a whole lot of inverted crosses, with the words black leather devil. Another design depicts a decapitated Jesus on an inverted cross. I am not kidding. Azealia Banks is yet another rapper that is all about satanic stuff. Shortly after digging up her dead cat and cooking it for witchcraft purposes, Banks proudly revealed during an interview that she owns the skull of a six-year-old girl who died from head trauma. Looking at this pic, I'm inclined to believe that Banks might also be suffering from head trauma. To celebrate the fact that she'll perform at the Super Bowl TikTok tailgate, whatever that is, Miley Cyrus posted this pic on Instagram. And that pic is pure MK Ultra Beta Kitten programming. The butt naked Miley is surrounded by monarch butterflies, represents monarch mind control, and chains, represents MK slavery. In another pic, there's barbed wire and a crown of thorns, a reference to torture. Speaking of monarch symbolism, Dua Lipa was recently featured in Rolling Stone magazine. In this pic, for no specific reason, a butterfly is projected on her face. Actually, there's a specific reason. It represents monarch programming. In this pic, a mirror is placed strategically to give the effect that Dua Lipa has two heads. A great way of representing MK alter personas. In another pic from the same photoshoot, Dua Lipa performs a blatant one-eye sign, confirming that this is all about occult elite symbolism. Kylie Bieber posted this picture doing a blatant one-eye sign on Instagram. She and her husband, Justin, are owned by the elite. She also did the same exact sign to promote her husband's clothing brand. Zendaya made the exact same sign in Essence magazine. She also did another one-eye sign in the same photo shoot to make sure you understand that there is nothing random here, just blatant signaling. Maluma does a blatant one-eye sign in Elle magazine. This is the cover of Vogue Poland, featuring model Anja Rubik. The fact that the words women of power are above the one-eye sign is quite ironic. Same magazine, Vogue, same sign, one eye, different country, Greece. James Charles, another poster boy of the gender-blurring agenda, poses on the cover of Vogue Portugal. Of course, one eye is hidden. Charlotte Rampling also had to do the one-eye sign in Fashion Magazine. And she doesn't appear too happy about it. The website of C6 Bank, in Brazil, welcomes visitors with a big fat one-eye sign. Banks love to showcase the fact that they're owned by the elite. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.